Welcome back, folks. This is the Vigilante Crafter. You can call me Vigil. This episode is going to be all about finding sheep, cows, and chickens. I have some lassos, I have some wood, our fence posts, and I have a good idea of where they're at. So I think this is going to be a fun one, folks. We're leaving the base. Hope you all enjoy. Hello, how you doing? Vigil here. All right, let's uh, let's just recap what I did off camera, which wasn't much. If you remember, this was full of chests. I I basically took all the items, brought them in here, put a door in here, and just kind of put stuff away. It's not extremely organized, but enough for as I kind of know where it's at. And then I got tools and weapons in here, and I put all the dirt on one side, just so I know this is all dirt. A little table and chairs there for aesthetic reasons. Put a door, pressure plate. And then out here, like I said, this chest will be kind of like a junk chest. And we have a crafting table by it, so we can, we can do our crafting right here. We still got to make a kitchen. Or a cooking area, whatever you guys want to call it. <laughs> whatever I want to call it, I don't know. <laughs> I call it a kitchen, it's easy. <laughs> so we, we'll be able to keep food and cook our food right in this area. So, so far so good. This is, this is you know, this is okay. It's, it's basic looking, but you know, there's no problems with that. No problems with that. But anyway, let's get to today's task, or this episode's task, which is, Finding sheep, finding cows, and maybe we can get some chicken eggs. We can lure the chickens over though with some seeds. So let's let's grab some seeds, just in case. And those are the where are they at? There we go. All right, and then let's go let's go do a chest dump. We're just gonna get rid of most of this stuff in here. We don't. Oh no no no. We need the food. Don't need that. We need... Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We'll take a quick nap. And then we'll hop our, And then we'll, uh, we'll venture out and we'll... I think what we need to do is... I mean, I already know where things are at. Oh, look at that little outpost up there we did a few videos ago. We can actually see it. I like it. Okay, what I want to do is I want to head off that way because I know there's some there's some sheep. See them up there? They're kind of stuck. So what I want to do is I want to go up there, lasso, you know, use the lead, attach the lead to them, and just kind of drag them back over here. Um, it would be nice to have. Let's do this. By the way, this was all the food right here that was cooked up in. the furnaces here and off camera I also chopped down these trees just to add some more wood so I did organize the the chopping area the wood the wood farm chopping area I'm not sure what I'm gonna call it yet as you can see we have a variety of wood now wood logs and tree saplings we haven't grown any of these yet but we're gonna going to real soon and then any extra bone meal that we get we just gotta put in here right from the compost because what I do is I compost the extra oak saplings. Anything over 64 saplings for any of these, I just compost. I, I, I probably don't even need 64, to be honest with you. <laughs> but it's it's a nice number. to it's, it's, it's a stack, so it works. And then one more change on the house. I did I replaced the wood stair with, um, with the concrete stair. It's not a concrete stair, sorry. The, wow, blanking out. Stone brick stair, there we go, there we go. And so with that being said, I wanna replace this other one just to kind of show you folks. You know, it's, I know it's, it's, it's nothing hard. Shouldn't be anyway. <laughs> but I just kind of wanted to show you guys how I did it. I just kind of broke it, just in case anyone was curious and I just jump up, there we go. I think that looks a lot better. And then again, we'll, we'll fill that in and I might even fill that in off camera and then show you folks on the, you know, in a future episode what I did. So anyway, 
That's all done. Let's go get those sheep. Let's go. And then what we'll do is we'll bring them. Um, where do you want to put them? Eventually, we'll want them here, maybe here. But what we'll do is we'll just kind of add a couple fences there to have, them about, have it all ready because then we can, we'll have them on the lead and then we can attach them right here and then they can just hang out. So folks, this is the, the beginning stages of, of building a, the animal farms. You need the animals first, right? If you don't have the animals, then you can't make an animal farm. So this is, this is how we do it in uh, survival Minecraft. One step at a time. Look at the wolf. I wish we had enough bones. So I get distracted, Vigil. Although, can I last? Can I put a lead on the wolf until we make the wolf like us? Let's find. Oh, wow, the sheep are just all right there. That's going to be almost too easy. Because that what the wolf does, it, it, it destroys the sheep. <laughs> we don't want him doing that, and he's doing that right now. Guess it's not that easy. Come here. Oh, wow. Get over here. Run with us. That wolf, I mean. <laughs> you gotta love Minecraft. Seriously. I, if you've watched my previous episodes, we've seen these sheep here for a while, right? I mean, just for a while. Every time we look over, we see a black and white sheep. Really nice. Those are the ones we want. And we can make a gray sheep, blah, 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 right? So finally, after... Let's just let's, let's look. Finally, after... 70 Minecraft days, I walk over here and it, this happens to be a wolf that wants to destroy them all. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Could have did that a long time ago, buddy. Uh, <laughs> so there's that wolf still, and you know what? You can stay there for right now because that wolf, all right, I really don't want to do this, but we're just gonna have to. We're gonna have to antagonize him. Yeah, sorry, buddy. I know, I know, I know, but you, you you attacked the sheep, and yeah, I know, I know. My bad, my bad, but I just want to get one at least. I always have a problem trying to get the lead back off the post. Hey, if anybody knows how to take the lead off the post, let me know in the comments, please. It's something I still have not learned. All right, let's just go down. Hopefully the lead doesn't break. Come on, buddy. I know, I know. It's it's going to be a rough ride coming on down the hill here. You're okay, though. I'm sorry I didn't save your brethren. I, my, my bad. I, I didn't know the wolf was here. I know, I know. Don't, don't gap at me. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I won't ever do it. Well... I can't say I won't ever do it again. <laughs> I would be lying. <laughs> Come on. So anyway, as you can see, folks, the, the lead is superior. Yes, I can lure them with some with some wheat. However, I feel it takes longer. Um. Yeah, you, you can come up now. Let's go. Come on. Thank you. Now, to be really effective with this, you could have them on the lead and have a, have some uh, wheat in your hand too as well. So then they're always kind of focused on you and at the same time they're not going to run off either or lose, or, or lose you because you have them on the lead. So you got kind of have the best of both worlds. Come on in, buddy. Hey, welcome to your new home. We're going to get you some friends. Don't worry. Come on. Let's just bring them over here. Perfect. Now we just need one more. And we need cows. 
And folks, I'm not going to guarantee the chickens in this episode. I'm just not. <laughs> chickens are erratic. And I do have some eggs built up, so you can always do the eggs. All right, so now we got some food from, you know, I, I guess we can thank that wolf, but, you know, that wolf has moved on. It's, so now this sheep won't go anywhere, so we're fine. So what I want to do, though, is I want to get this cooking. And then venture on. I saw another sheep. Wow. I need some gates on the corners here. I saw some sheep right over here kind of wandering. Another white one. Really wanted a different color. But we'll just use the dyes to make our colors. Where are we at with the sun? It's about, no, didn't see it, but. Saw so, like over here, like see it? See that? Ooh, there's a chicken. I don't know if we could put leads on chickens. I've never done that before. Let's go try. There's a couple over there, actually. So really what we could do is we can lure the chickens with seeds. Maybe they all come to you. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Yeah, see, they're all over us. Let's bring these guys over here. And then let's see if we can last one. Oh, you can! Huh? Let's go, buddy. Time to go home. Hopefully that's not breaking. It's not. It's not. Come on, buddy. I guess it was safe to assume that you could put a lead on a chicken. I mean, but I just, I've never done it, so I just didn't know if I could or not. I mean, like I said, let's do the whole trick. There you go. It's always going to kind of look at us, see? There we go. Got a little chicken. Great. Come on, buddy. Come on. Really need a gate over there. Or make this... Oh, no. That's what I did. No. See, that, it does that, and that's what I don't like. There we go. We got a sheep and a chicken, and it's a almost dark time. So let's go ahead and take a quick nap, and then we're going to look for cows. And try to get an extra sheep, too. Now, you can you can bring back more than one if you find more than one, if you have more than one lead, too, as well. And I do, so you can do that. I was just very excited we were able to bring the chicken in with the lead. That was, that was nice. And so now that we have one chicken here, he'll start laying eggs and then we can keep collecting them. So that's perfect. That is the starter chicken farm right here. <laughs> so let's go out this way. Get some food in us. We did see some sheep over there, remember? So let's go back to that same area. Almost there. Kind of get on top and get a good look at things. Oh, so, okay, so what I saw were the chickens, like, because I saw that piece of, I saw their white feathers and I was thinking it might have been a sheep. That's all right. I know where we can go to grab cows and sheep. We can go right back over across the swamp, close to our village, right? So let's, let's trek back here. I don't know if there's a boat over there or not. 
I know our last adventure we we kind of forgot our boat, but then we made another one, I believe. No, no boat. Okay, let's let's go make let's go get a boat. Let's go get a boat. Let's look at the house. Houses looks very interesting from right here. In fact, the look, I don't really like the look at all, to be honest with you. That's all right. We're not going to worry about that. Oof, that hurt. All right, let's go back and I think I had a boat in here. I did. Excellent. So we have the boat. Let's get this tool out now that we know that our tools go here, right? Although that we can, we can just merge with this axe. What are we doing on the day here? Where's that sun? Oh, it's midday. We're okay. Uh, okay. I think we're okay. So this little trek that takes us out by the village that we you know found earlier in the series. There's cows and sheep there, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to bring a sheep back and two cows. So three animals all at once. Let's see what happens. And don't forget about the future episode about our our fish collector and die collector. It's gonna be right there. As we row along. Well, I have to say it's a lot smoother now. We don't have the lily pads in our way. <laughs> this also gives me another opportunity to mention that of you know Coming up real soon is we're, we're going to have a few episodes where we're going to do some mining. Uh, we're going to create our mine shaft and be able to get down to Y11 and do some good old-fashioned grind-out mining. Grinding, or how do, how do you want to say it? Mining, good old grind grinding of uh, chopping lots of blocks with our pickaxe. Why? Because we need resources. And we're looking for diamonds, and we're looking for redstone, we're looking for lapis looking for gold, and we'll be able to get all those items as soon as we get our, our mining tunnel established. And that'll be an episode where we, we get the, we get the, uh, we get the mine shaft established, how to get down to the mining area, and then I'll establish that mining area. And then I'll, and then I'll show you what I'm, what I'm going to do like off camera with that, because I, I don't believe anybody wants to watch that. <laughs> I mean, it's literally just breaking block after block going in a straight line. So let me know if you want to see a video on that. I mean, I will stream live. I can stream live until I'm done. I mean, that would be interesting. So, all right. So we have this cow. Darn it. There's that boat. I, I, I want to take the boat with me. Actually, I don't even know if he's going to come with us. Let's find out. That's why I don't like boats who can't. Oh, he does. Look at that. He's floating, too. Excellent. Hey, guys. How you doing? We got a cow. I'm going to screenshot that. Why not? Hey, how you doing? I like that. There we go. Maybe we can go make that a thumbnail for this video. I don't have any thumbnails up for my series. Yeah, interesting. All right. Let's get back to it. Yeah, we're in the boat. Might as well bring him back. Do we have two? No. Do we need two? Yes.
Look it up. <laughs> oh, look out. <laughs> Hard to see where you're going. Okay, hopefully he doesn't get caught in there. Uh, let's get back. Nice. Uh-oh. Okay, perfect. If you do stretch this lead far enough, it will break. You can go pick it back up, but it will break. That's why it's always good to check. Oh, and there's our first egg. Excellent. I'm going to come over here. We're going to give him his own post. We need some space, right? So let's, let's move. Let's put the cows right here. And then... There we go. Well, now, all we need to do is get another sheep and another cow. Let's see if we can do that. Let's pick up our egg. Sun's going down. So the chickens are more for aesthetic purposes. They don't do much for me. Although I do like to use the eggs at one point for other items, so that's why it's good to have a few. And then the sheep will make automatic wool farms. I don't really farm sheep for meat. So you folks are fortunate. Yes, you'll be living in a small little cube though, unfortunately, but that's okay. And you, we're gonna get you. We're gonna get you a friend, and you're gonna produce meat for the colony, or for the base. All right, and you're gonna be our main supplier of meat and leather too, as well. So that'll be a fun episode. All right, let's. You got a bet on me? I don't. Let's not do that. Make some scissors, some shears. Guess I should have listed bees as well. We do need some bees. Because what I would like is I would like a bee floating around here because I, I want to do some crops right here. Like right in here. Kind of going around here, maybe not here, more flowers here, but more crops right in here. Just a small amount, just so we have them growing. There's that sun, it's going down. Finally, a legitimate sunset. That looks nice. All right, so here's the plan. We have a few minutes left on this episode. We are gonna sleep, and then we're gonna hustle back over to that area and try to find the sheep and the cow, and hopefully bring them over here to uh, end it, you know, to end this episode. I'm just waiting until we can sleep. There we go. Perfect. Let's go. Hustle, 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 Vigil. Hustle, 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 Vigil. See, there's, see that fish? You saw it? Oh. And then those? Anyway, I, I saw it. But then see the, see the black dye too, the ink? So we just need, there, there's the salmon. We just need to get some, uh, uh, those, I forget what they're called. Blanking out. But anyway, they allow the water to be pulled down. 
create, creates a vacuum that pulls them down and it'll pull the waters down and then it'll burn them up and we'll be able to collect the drops. But right now we need to focus on finding I like picking these up. They're a good source of bone meal. Although they don't really generate. Again, I don't believe so anyway, so. It's not an endless source. Let's go up. Let's grab this boat, because I'm tired of always looking for the boat. <laughs> Tell you right now, folks, the cow is the most important thing to me at this point. Like right there. We got the cow. Ooh, there's a cow and a sheep over there. Let's do this. Since they're in the same area. Got that one. And we got that one. So now we have two. That's all we need. Let's go. We had a chicken over here too. So yeah, we want to go this direction. You do want to, when you're doing this folks, you do want to find the path of least, of, of least resistance. I mean, if you don't, you don't, but I, I generally try to because, like I said, that lead will break and it can be all kinds of issues. A lot of times you don't know it breaks. <laughs> At least that's how it happens to me. So let's get ready to plant this boat down and... All right. All right, guys. I hope you know how to swim. Your other friends did, so I'm, I'm assuming you do too. Let's go. Get that view. Hey, there you guys go. Yeah, we're gonna look at that. Hello, how you doing? How you doing? Nice little screenshot. Thank you. Sorry, folks. Let's let's move on now. Check. There they are. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Look at them chase. <laughs> They're chasing me. Oh no. <laughs> uh, really, we're dragging them through the water. <laughs> we'll bring these folks, bring these guys back right here. We'll jump out and we'll get moving. And we'll look just to make sure. Okay. So that's exactly what, what I was saying, what tends to happen sometimes. However, this cow is good because he's in the boat, so he's gonna stay there. He's not gonna roam around. So let's take this sheep back. Come on, I know, I know, I know. Oh, no, 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 we don't need you to, yeah. Okay, you wanna go up that way? The hardest path possible. All right, thank you. You just gotta work with them sometimes, you know? You and I are a team, buddy, okay? You and I are a team. Gonna leave this open. Oh, look at that, another egg. Okay, so now, put that there. So we're done with the sheep, because we have two, unless one passes on. That's not going to be good. All right, we're going to get your buddy here soon, real, to, real soon, too. All right, folks, we're getting close to finishing up here. And I think the next episode will establish our food farms so we can feed our animals. All right? We've got to feed them. If we don't feed them, they don't make more. So... 
Okay, so what we're gonna have to do with you is we we get them out of the boat, you, you gotta break them out of the boat. They're not gonna really go anywhere, so we can leave the boat here. There you go. And then we'll take them back. Let's go. Yep. Good boy. Come on. Come on. I, I guess it's not a dog, is it? It's a, it's a cow. <laughs> Okay, here's, here's the path that you, you all seem to get up on. Come on. Good job. Yes, you and I are a team too. You're part of the team now. Come on, I got a friend to show you. I do got a friend, come on. You're gonna have a new friend. Come on. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Let's, let's come straight in. There we go. Perfect. And we'll go ahead and put you here. You go ahead and hang out with your new friend. Get to know each other. Maybe one will be Betsy and the other one will be Marty. Marty and Betsy. <laughs> I just made those names up randomly. <laughs> well, folks, there it is. All right, that is how you bring over animals to your base. Now, some of the things I didn't say is, how do we get leads? Well, you can make leads from slime blocks, but if you don't have slime blocks, you just wait for the wandering trader to come in and you ask him to make a sacrifice for your base. Once he does that, you can pick up the leads and then you'll have leads. It's, it's best to have at least two of them. Alrighty, folks. I really appreciate you watching. Thanks for stopping by. That next video is coming out soon and we're going to build out the... Uh, the vegetable farm, the food farm, all right? See you folks later. Bye-bye. Man, Vigil. You got the animals. You finally got the animals for the farm. Nice job.